Hey, you guys. Welcome to Let's Do Lunch Podcast. What's up? I am with my bestest friend of the whole widest world that there never could be anybody even better than Angie Riso. Right? <laughs> Hi, everyone. <laughs> um, and I'm Kristen. I'm a rule squirrel. We have links to our own separate channels, um, our personal channels in the description below. So make sure that you're following both of us as well. We are really grateful that you guys are here and that you have pulled up a seat with us and that you are hanging out while we uh, talk about all things reselling and not reselling, <laughs> which sometimes seems to be a little more not, not. reselling. <laughs> <laughs> But we're glad that you are hanging out with us and hopefully getting some work done or just actually having lunch with us. So we have a lot of things to cover this time and we're having a special guest that's going to pop on here in a little yeah. while. So we're anxious for them to pop in so that you guys can um, get to meet them and not just what they have. Does that make sense? Am I, am I giving away too many clues? a little bit but mm, okay. they'll figure it out soon enough yeah 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 Can you believe sure. it is already april and this weekend is easter already yeah that feels crazy because it does really feel like we just had christmas this I know. Just is going by so quick but you know and what that means monday peeps are going to be half price <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll take some for you. <laughs> I promise I won't clear the shelf. <laughs> we have like giant peeps displays at Walmart, and I'm like, yes. So I'll be you going to get me some 50% off. The big squishmallow um plush looking <gasps> uh peeps. Have you seen those? Yes, those are amazing. Mm. What do you I mean, you know, as an adult, can I really like justify having a big peep squishmallow. Yeah, I think you can. I think if you I mean, decorate for Easter. If you, um, I know you, if you're um, listening to us on Apple or one of our podcasts, you can't see, but I have a big flamingo squishmallow behind me. Uh, yeah. That's on my shelf that my mom got for me. So evidently, <laughs> I'm not too old for that. <laughs> no, and I think it looks cute back there, but it's not everybody that has a neon sign in their Right, there, exactly. So. Or Phineas and Ferb right there. <laughs> uh, hey, I am a child. What can I say? <laughs> no, I'm looking at yours and then looking at mine, and mine looks kind of kind of boring. Well, yours looks mine like is my office. Uh, yours is a, you're in your living room where it looks yeah. like you know normal. My living room is very much like that too. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it is almost April or almost it Easter. Is April. Yeah, yeah, it is April. It's almost Easter, but today where I'm at, it is snowing so um this is normal for us out here to have snow in april and people wow. are still skiing people are still you know snowshoeing and doing all the colorado things that you do that's crazy to me here opposite side of the country in pensacola florida it is beautiful and 78 degrees and we actually have our air conditioning on in the house and we uh, talked to Paul Philly Flipper earlier today, and it was 90 where he is. 90. <laughs> no, thank you. I actually think that I would rather have the snow than Ooh. have the 90 degree weather. Ouch, that sounds so hot. It's not as long as it's not humid. We, st we oh. don't have the humidity yet, but come summer, that it'll be bad. But yeah. right now it's beautiful. We love it. And I think that like even Midwest heat, oh, it's just a Impressive. It just yeah. makes you feel like you can't move and you want to take a shower like four times a day. <laughs> it's just gross. You know what I mean? Yep. Yeah. And your hair's always flat. flat. Oh, it's, it's the worst. Yes. Or it's fuzzy. Girl, I got this flat hair as it is. So mm, I don't need last to be week, any more flat. Last week we were talking about doing rollers. Okay. And um, I, I'm, let's talk about it. It sounded like a lot of your fans were like, no, Angie, no perm. Your hair is hair is beautiful as it is. Becky Pack, baby. Uh, thanks for that comment because Angie is gorgeous and you probably don't need a perm, but I, it does make me wonder what you would look like with a perm. I need to bring you, I forgot to bring a picture and her name's Backpack Baby. Backpack Baby. Backpack what did I call her? Becky Pack. <laughs> I <don't know. laughs> Sorry I about that. I'm the worst with names. You should hear me in a whatnot. I'm like, hey, you person. You person, fan <laughs> with, of 
for a what? <laughs> what's the name? I that sorry. Name? What no, is that? I'm, I'm terrible with that. And especially during the whatnots, because you feel like you have to go so fast. Oh, and you got to talk to everyone. They really Encourage want to them. talk. So I, I, I did something today or not today, yesterday. I bought me an iced tea maker. I am Ooh. addicted to making, or I'm addicted to unsweet iced tea. Normally I go to Sonic nice. and I'll buy two teas, always at half price because I have the app. Oh, so, yeah. but it's still going to be like $2 and 90 cents every single day. So I got my iced tea maker and now I am making my own iced tea with the iced tea maker. And I have to say it's pretty good. And now look how much money I'm saving. Well, saving money. that's good. I mean, that's just like having at home coffee mm -hmm. instead of going to the coffee shop every single day and paying $9 for a coffee. Right. And of course, the first time I made it, I was like, it's not as good. Okay, quit being a big whiny baby, Angie. <laughs> you know what it is with Sonic, though? It's that ice. Oh, I know. They, they I do have crushed ice. ice. In, I mean, it's not as good. It's not yeah. like the baby fine or whatever. But yeah. it's still, I th almost think, it's my straw that makes it taste different. Oh, and yeah. I have the big, you know, this big chunky straw. <laughs> and um, I think that's what makes the tea taste different. But I'm so happy to like... I found a little way to save a little money this week. So I'm happy yeah. about that. That's very good. Very <laughs> good. So I'm kind of a, a, a straw snob because I'll use the same straw over and over, but I don't like the metal straws. I like yours because it looks like it's either a plastic or a silicone. Yeah. Mine is, I think it's silicone. It's like one of the mm. bendy. So yeah. pretty good. And I put it in my little, we actually bought this special lid for my Yeti cup, because it uh -huh. doesn't come with this one, so that we can put a straw in it. So that you can get the bigger straws. Those uh -huh. are the good kind. Those are the kind that, uh, you know, you can put bobas in. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. it's pretty big. So good idea. the rollers. Yes. Go back to the sponge rollers that we talked about last week that we were like, yeah, we'll show up in the rollers. Well, I think that because of the way the schedule worked today, we didn't get a chance to come with rollers, but I actually, this is, this was after rollers last night. And, um, I, I don't know that I'm going to do the rollers again <laughs> because one, this is, my hair was still wet whenever I took it out. Cause I have so much hair and it's really thick, but I have like this crank in my neck. Oh, from sleeping, <laughs> from on, sleeping on the sponge rollers. And I don't remember having that whenever I was like seven. But I <laughs> do notice it now. <laughs> because I feel like that's the last time that I really had sponge rollers in yeah. my hair. I can yeah. remember being a kid and feeling like it was pulley. Like when yeah. you put it like, down like it was, yeah, like, like uncomfortable. Tight spots. Yeah. But I used those big purple, uh, like the big rollers. Right. <laughs> so instead of like laying on my pillow, I was like laying on my <laughs> pillow because there were so many rollers. <laughs> oh, my neck is like all wonky. So I, I I probably won't do it. You would have loved to see me in the morning. And I did take a picture and I'll text it to you personally. But I you cannot share it because when I woke up, I had like a roller here and one hanging. And then there was one, you know, in the bed with me. <laughs> <laughs> fallen out so <laughs> not my favorite way to uh curl my hair i did well, attempt it though <laughs> i'm probably i will probably try it and i guess i'll post a picture on our facebook page i'll try it this weekend and okay. put the curlers in and i'll do one before and one after and let oh, you yeah. see what you think but um we actually filmed let's do lunch late afternoon this week just because of our guests needing uh, and to do that in the afternoon so i just didn't want to be wearing curlers all day long yeah. <laughs> i thought that might be a little weird i mean i do see cute sweet little old ladies that have the the scarf that they wear to the grocery store that have their curlers in that's and true I, if I need I to just, go to the post office in my curlers i, could. I don't think i could do it I don't think yeah. I could. Now, can I wear pajama pants? To Everybody the does. Office? Yes, I can. I'd be more than happy to do that. And like a t-shirt, but, and I've actually gone. Okay. Oh, 
I admit to it on the show. I have gone to the post office without shoes on. I drive without, <laughs> like, uh, but I'll still have socks on. So here okay. I come in my socks. Now my socks are ruined because they're so dirty from walking on that nasty yeah. floor. But here I am, like walking in with my socks. I know people are like, what is wrong with her? I'm like, hey. The packages you know have to go out. <laughs> the packages have to go out. And I'll go with like, I would have gone with my rollers in my hair if I needed to beat the, the post office to get it there in time. But I was at Walmart yesterday and there was a group of kids and they all had uh, no shoes on. They had socks on, but no shoes. <laughs> so it's not just me. Yeah, but aren't you always worried that you're going to step on something? No. No. Okay. I live in Florida. Yeah. We don't wear shoes that much. Yeah, I'm yeah. going out in snow boots today. So yeah, I mean, I wear my Birkenstocks all year long. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Just... So speaking of Birkenstocks, I sold three pair of Birkenstocks last week. Three pair. Dang. I know they weren't like huge dollar items, but right. I think one was 19, one was 21, and the other was 44. So, but they're, I mean, they're selling. So it was you like work and talk week. I don't mind buying almost anything used, but not Burks because uh, they really form to your foot. Mm -hmm. So if you're wearing someone else's, they're formed to their foot. So even if yeah. it forms then to yours, it's never going to be quite right. Right. And so, but yeah. The plastic ones, the EVAs. Oh, that's they, different. Yeah, and I sold two pair of those and one pair of the clogs. The clogs are like coming back in. They're a new style. My kids, a couple of them was like, hey, mom, if you find those, get those in my size. I'm like, okay. It's not like when you go to the bins, you go to the row that has your size. You look for the stuff that's on sale. It doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't work like that. It's it, luck of the draw if you find oh, things. That's true. Bin. That's true. Yeah. But you know what else is coming back into, into style or becoming a style? I saw this on Instagram and I think it was Vendu who posted it for some reason. I think it's them. They said um, mermaid stuff. It's going to be oh. in for the next two years. And they said, so use keywords mermaid and mermaid core. I was no. like, what? That's a thing. You know, whenever they say cottage core, granny core, yeah. uh, you know, everything is something core, which oh, is mermaid core. I'm like, okay, know. there's a new one even for me. I'm like, I can understand like the mermaid style. I mean, ladies, if you're like my yeah. age, you know, we like had rubber bracelets and wearing yeah. all kinds of stuff when we were evidently Madonna core back in the <laughs> 80s. Right. <laughs> See, we, we called it a style instead mm -hmm. of a core. Yeah. yeah. So I was just thinking uh, we that. get that. We understand. We we've worn all the fishnets and the crazy things that made you, but we didn't call it a core. Well, it wasn't that long ago when everything was boho style. Right. So it was boho Peasant. style. It wasn't boho core. Yeah. Such but a that is a key word. I don't know. Yeah. It's, it's so weird. But I saw that the other day and I was like, that's a strange thing for sure. Mermaid core. Well, yeah. I mean, I like mermaids. So I'm, I'm all about it. I think they're cute. But I'm just trying to think, does that mean, you know, things that are sparkly? I'm trying to think what would fit mm. into that category. I think, wouldn't it just be stuff that has like mermaid on it? Mermaids stuff? Well, or is I it think it's just a style too. So like maybe like if it's sequency or sparkly or so like inspired color. by. Yeah. Okay. okay. So I don't know. That's <laughs> interesting for sure. So yeah. anyways, that's the new, that, that's your tip of the day for the newest in style. Mermaid core. Mermaid core. <laughs> Huh. I'm, I'm down for it. I, and you know, I love it whenever there's people that post what the trending stuff is. I watch, um, or I, I follow several different people on Instagram and tell your friend sportswear. She's oh, always, yeah. Yeah, she's always got, you know, watch out for this, pay attention to these, look for this brand, look for this style. So it, she uses a lot of keywords too, or t teaches you keywords, mostly ones that would be like on Depop. Like she focuses on things like that. She'll say, this is trending on Depop, which to me sounds so young and hip and cool. Yeah. You know, but I, 
Because I don't know anything about deep. I know, a completely Never different foreign language. Ever. So yeah. who on here, if you have been successful on Depop, we want to hear from you. We want to know what yeah. you're selling and, you know, what what do you attribute success on Depop? Yeah. Because I don't know. I, I feel like we, we, we've both been resellers for so long, but I, I'm so intimidated by Depop. Yeah. Like, I think that, that it feels like you would be, to, to do Depop, to to correlate it to what we do, it would be like going and, and taking your lunch tray and sitting over at the cool kids table. Right. You know? Be like, oh, God, I don't know if I can go sit with these people, but I'm going to go sit with them. I mean, everybody can sit with us. We've already established that. But it would feel weird to go try to sit at the cool kids table. I almost and that's what think it's more are. like the teacher trying to sit at the cool kids table. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or on grandparents' day when you go through yes. this. Good day, yeah. Oh, Sunny. Yeah. We're gonna yeah. say, what are you having? I brought my tuna fish sandwich. I don't know why old people are eating tuna know. fish, but they got you a go. completely different voice this time instead of being <laughs> <laughs> Evidently, that's how I think I'll sound when I'm old. <laughs> hey, Shani, tell me about that there knee pop. <laughs> Weird. Oh, it's been a day I'm already. Like, we are like too much. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, in addition to the perm comment, I wanted to bring up Doreen French. Who mentioned us also and was like, you, you are all so my girls, except the peeps, but everything else, you, <laughs> you three are all into the same stuff. I love today's video. You know what, Doreen, you and I are on the same page because I'm not about the, I, ugh, peeps are not my thing. I love Easter. I love all the gummy candy stuff, but I just can't do the marshmallow peepee things. Peeps are amazing. I'm not a peeper. Out. But I have to say, okay, so um, the other day I bought a ton of different peeps okay. and I tr tried the hot tamale peeps. Oh, primo, guys. Primo hot tamale peeps. They are cinnamon on the outside uh -huh. and they smell like a hot tamale. Okay. Like spicy. But when you eat them, it's just more like a cinnamon flavor, which huh? was good. But then I tried fruit punch oh. okay oh, it was so bad I, thought, it, okay. <laughs> I was like i cannot get behind this fruit punch mm -mm. you know what is fun uh and accurate about us is that we aren't gonna like sugarcoat it it's pardon the pun but we're gonna tell you how <laughs> we really feel about something angie's like oh yeah these peeps are good but i'm gonna tell you that no peeps are good <laughs> <laughs> No. Well, mm -hmm. I'm a peeps connoisseur and I have to say fruit punch was disgusting. Mm. Mm -hmm. So is hot tamale then your favorite peeps? I don't know. I still have cotton candy. That sounds I really tried. sweet. Um, and Dr. Pepper. That would be interesting to find out about that. So yes, it was. And I actually sent some of the Dr. Pepper peeps to Paul. Philly Flipper this week. Uh -huh. You won't see the. Uh, it should get there before this, so I can I can officially say that. So, want to see what he thinks because he gave Peeps Pepsi, or as we like to call it, Peepsy, Peepsy. a six point eight. Really? Uh, so yeah, he said it wasn't wasn't bad. Six point eight. So I wanted him to try the Doctor Pepper Pe Doctor Pepper Peeps, but they're just you know the little Peeps. So I wonder he if he's gonna like them. Yeah. And, um, uh, that just, all of it makes me have this like metally taste in my mouth from all of the sugar. It just seems like a lot, but did you, did you look up and see how much the Pepsi, the Pepsi peeps, peeps, Pepsi, did you see how much it's reselling for? Oh, it's crazy. It's crazy. That's so, because you can't find it in a lot of places. Yeah. And see, and they got cases and flats of it up here. So but I did have a couple people locally message me and say that it's available at Publix. Oh. So I'm going to have to um, go to Publix this week and see if I can at least get me one so I can give it a rating of, of 1 to 10, just like Paul did. He was so specific, though. 6.8. Mm. <laughs> Not quite mm. a 7. <laughs> no. 
Not quite. So speaking of Paul, we're going to be on their reseller draft show on Monday. That's right. <laughs> and I've, uh, we talked about this a little bit during your live listing on Tuesday, but I'm really nervous about this one. I'm really nervous about this one's going to be hard. It's, it's I bad. think It's bad. I okay. don't think it's bad. Oh, it's bad. The but reseller it's draft, bad. it's always, you pick your top five of a category before we've done, we've done Thanksgiving foods and we've done desserts and we've done other things, but this week is our favorite animals to eat. Oh man. What? I know. And you know, what's Why? hard what I didn't, I, it, what's hard is I, I sometimes I go in and out of being like semi vegetarian where, I'll, you know, what is it where you'll eat fish? Sometimes it's Piscatarian, not Piscatarian, I think. <laughs> Piscatarian, I think right. Episcopal. I don't know. <laughs> I can't remember. But I. So this is going to be a little. It is going to be a little bit challenging. But so, it's going to be fun. Tune in Monday. I think it's going to be. Oh, is it on Nashville Flippers channel? I think it's on Nashville Flippers. Nashville channel. Flippers channel on Monday. We'll be on there with the the reseller draft mm -hmm. of favorite animals. To eat. to eat. Oh Lord. Mm. I am not looking forward to it. I, I have to say, but we are super, super excited for mm. our guests today. They okay. are super busy. It is tax season y'all. And they've still found the time to come in here and talk to you guys. So we just want to say welcome in to Faith and Paul, my reseller genie. Hi guys. Hello, guys. Hey. Hey. Good to see you. Good to see you. Guys, it's so great to see you guys. Good. Where do so, you where do you come from? Where are you located? I don't know this. We are we are in Baltimore, Maryland. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're East Coasters. That's right, Eastern Time yeah. Zone. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. So it's still cold up there then too. It is. Although today it got close to eighty. So I was out buying flowers <laughs> just a few minutes ago, guys. And I'm probably risking it because I know May 15th is like the frost date or whatever, but I have a friend who's just like phenomenal with gardening and she says, it is safe. So, <laughs> so I went out and I got myself some flowers and I'm very excited to, to garden. Oh, <laughs> that's good. We always say Mother's Day around here. You can't, you can't plant anything until Mother's Day or after yeah. Mother's Day. Yeah. Really? Yeah. In June? Wait, oh, that's yeah. okay. It's in May. You're thinking of Father's Day. But here it's the opposite. If you wait until like June or whatever, nothing will grow because it gets too hot here in Florida. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you have to plant like already or right about You've now. You've already or, planted, right? Yeah. Exactly. Oh. Gotcha. Wait, so where, where are you two? I'm in Pensacola, Florida. I'm okay. in, I'm just outside of Denver, Colorado. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Cool. So I had snow today. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. We're so glad that you guys are on because you know it's nice to get it's nice to get a face and a and a personality behind what we already know as my reseller genie because we've talked about it on the show several different times and it is neat to just get to meet you and for the people that are like the audience to get to meet you also. For sure. Yeah. yeah. No, we, I'm we privileged we, enough that I've gotten to meet you in real life. So yeah. that was fun. <laughs> but, uh, you, and, you know, it's, it seems like it's a hard thing to talk about because it's bookkeeping and it's taxes and it's kind of stuffy, but you guys were fun. This is going to be great. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm glad to hear that. I will say, I think that I, I help him um, to, to okay. lighten up just, just a little bit because, Absolutely. you know, he's okay. For those of you guys who don't know, he's more of the numbers guy. You know, he's like the serious planner and all that stuff. Um, although he can be a goofball, you know, if we, if we, <laughs> um, but you know, and then I'm, I'm more of the, the reseller. So, um, but I'm glad Kristen that our first impression was that we're fun and not just these boring people who are, <laughs> you know, <laughs> and everything well i mean it, it can be intimidating but it does even with watching your your instagram and stuff like that you do make it seem like it's so much more relatable you know and we all have to do it if we're going to be resellers so yeah i want to know who comes up with the the um instagram bit short ideas that's me this I, lady yeah oh, so cute she's the brains yeah, behind, behind instagram that's, yeah. and really all of our marketing 
Yeah. Well, I, I try. It's it's helpful that, you know, reels are already out there because I just kind of go through and I look at the stuff that's trending and then I try to come up with creative ideas of how, you know, how I can incorporate that into our marketing. So, <laughs> um, but I, I have fun with it. Some, you know, some do better than others, but some are just like a lot of fun to record and try. To yeah. Use and you can see it in your face too. So if you guys yeah. aren't following um, my reseller Gina on Instagram, it really is uh, entertaining as well as uh, informative. So you guys also have a, a Facebook page too. Can you tell us more about that? Because I think that's probably key in getting to know you as my reseller genie. Sure. Mm, yeah. Um, so I think the one you're probably talking about is the users group for yeah. uh, people who are using our software. Mm -hmm. um, and the goal with that was just to kind of have a place where, you know, people who are using the software can get together and talk. Um, we also, you know, respond there, like people post a question and not sometimes, you know, other people won't know the answer. And so we're like, all right, we'll chime in on that and just, you know, yeah. make sure that you're not, um, you know, stranded. stuck. <laughs> yeah. Um, we're not as fastidious about that as we are, our, you know, our email, but uh, we try and get back, you know, within, within two days, email, we're always get back within one, yeah. but it's been cool. Cause, um, you know, you bring together people who've got a common, you know, common goal, you know, mm -hmm. want to run their businesses better, want to grow. And uh, it's exciting. You know, we're excited for the group to get bigger and just more people to you know, be contributing. And um, yeah, we're yeah. super excited. <laughs> yeah. Good. How did you decide that this is a product we needed? I mean, mm -hmm. what was the, was there something that happened or was it GoDaddy quitting? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's a good question. Do you want to, do you want to sure. take on? Yeah, sure. Um, yeah, so it, yeah, interesting story, and I won't go into all the details, but um, I have been a reseller now for I guess six years, um, and I did it, you know, very part time in the beginning. I feel like all of us kind of started just you know we testing the letters a little bit, and then we <laughs> fell in love with it, and you know, there's no turning back now. Um, this is actually all my inventory back here, so. Sorry. <laughs> um, <laughs> So, but my first tax season rolled around as a reseller. And again, I was very part-time at, at the time. Um, and Paul was in, was working in accounting. Um, and I did not know what the heck I was supposed to be tracking. It was a nightmare. And guys, I was only on Poshmark. I wasn't on all these other platforms. It was just one platform. And it was the biggest nightmare for me. Um, and I'm ashamed to say it. I mean, like I'm married to an accountant, like I should know these things, but it was a nightmare for me. Um, and so it, it felt like about three months of pulling out my hair. And I think there were tears too. And oh, I'm sure. <laughs> and, um, and so my dear husband, he, he's amazing. He came home one of those days and I guess it just clicked and he's like, I got to help this woman. So <laughs> he created, good man. Good man. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Save the day. Um, he created a really just sim simple ba um, basic spreadsheet for me to use so that this wouldn't happen again. Um, and it did not happen again. Things after that were so much better. Um, but mm -hmm. fast forward to about two years after that and COVID hit. Mm -hmm. And you know, during that time, I had been getting more involved, you know, in the Facebook groups of resellers and stuff. And I just kind of kept hearing from people the same things. We hate accounting. We don't know what we're doing. Ah, kind of thing. You know, like we're yes. <laughs> you guys get it? Yeah. I mean, we we've all been there, you know. Yeah. Um, and so COVID hit. Paul lost some hours with his job. Thankfully, he didn't lose his job, but he lost some hours with his job. So we had to supplement and try to find something else. And it was really, really hard to find something, um, something mm -hmm. else. That and I will never forget, I was standing in the kitchen and it was probably early June at this point, um, right at the onset of COVID. And I looked at Paul and I was like, babe, I think that there's a need in the reselling community, you know, for what you made me, like we would have to spice it up a little bit. Like we'd have to make it a bit better, bigger, you know, all that. Um, but I think that there's a need and he's very analytical, very thoughtful to <laughs> decisions. Um, and he was on board and I was just kind of shocked. And so he spent all of that summer um, creating uh, a, just a gorgeous Microsoft experience. Excel spreadsheet. And I'll just fast forward through that. We learned pretty quickly that we couldn't, like if we wanted to help more resellers, we couldn't stay as a spreadsheet. So we yeah. spent the next year in development, created the web app. Um, and yeah, the, the rest is history. So. <laughs> Yay. You've got, how many people do you have using your, your, your program now? 
Um, <clears throat> almost, almost two thousand. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, yeah. wow. Yeah. that's great. <laughs> From yeah. one to that many, that's awesome. So. Yeah. Well, I mean, we. I think we all start out on either a book writing down things or yeah. a spreadsheet. Um, mm -hmm. But now we need with eBay and all of the platforms changing, I think it's so important that you need to know not only your numbers, but what sold mm -hmm. and what categories and what is your sell through rate and what's your profit on these types of items? Because mm -hmm. as sellers, we have to be smarter about what yeah. we buy and what categories. And that's what kind of I love about the software is you can have all that information yeah. right there at your fingertips. So yeah. it helps you be better at sourcing and it helps you mm -hmm. be a better reseller once you start incorporating all of your numbers in there. It really yeah. is a, you know, a great system to build like from the onset of your reselling of when you, cause let's face it, we make our money on the buy. So if yes. you're buying the right yeah. things mm -hmm. and you know that from your sales, all the analytics that you're, your reporting is excellent. Well, excellent. And I agree because I think that for a volleyball coach, I had, I had software that I used sitting there on the bench, you know, who was doing what you could see live stats and mm -hmm. people like stats. I want to know, you know, what's going to, what's going to be best for my business. And if you can see it real time live happening right now, you can, change your strategy or yes. put yeah. something in, you know, all those things. It feels like it's the same kind of, of course thing. you brought this around to volleyball. Of course I did. <laughs> I love it. I did, awesome. I did have a great stat program. So I'm just saying I do like a good program. <laughs> yeah. Analytics are so important. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I mean, like now I just, I feel like analytics are kind of, they're coming everywhere pretty much. Like mm -hmm. it's, it's just becoming more attainable, I think, for, um, you know, for smaller businesses to make use of analytics. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. like for us, when, you know, I was building her spreadsheet, it just like really quickly started to click like, OK, wait a second. You know, there's a, a ton here. There's a ton of capacity if you build it the right way. Mm -hmm. And it's like, obviously, there's tons of accounting softwares out there already. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but there wasn't something specifically for the reseller and that kind of right. f put everything together in such a way that, you know, someone who's not like a Excel guru could figure out, all right, if I set it up this way, then, you know, I'll have all my accounting figures and all my analytics the way I want it to. Right. So we were mm -hmm. like, you know, if we can just give people a place where you put your information and then it does that work for you. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it can really help to empower you and just making good business decisions and understanding more about what's going on. Yeah, I, I totally agree. I've had a couple people ask me when they get your program, they're feeling a little intimidated. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is there a good place for them to start a video and onboarding something that y'all yeah. can provide them of this is step by step kind of what you need to do? Because for me, it wasn't, it's not so hard yeah. because She's I an understand the numbers <laughs> and I'm comfortable in a lot in, in doing that kind of thing. But I think yeah. a couple of people, at least that I've talked to, have felt a little intimidated with mm -hmm. how do I process to pull my items from, from eBay and things like that. Yeah. Is there a place for them to go like as a starter lesson or something that they can do? Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's a great question. So I would say probably the the easiest um, thing to use to just kind of get set up is actually when you sign up, we send emails mm -hmm. um, to people. And the first one you get is like how to get started. Mm -hmm. And so there, there's a lot of like written instructions that will kind of link you to specific videos um, if you're a more, a more visual person. Mm -hmm. um, and, and I, I will just interject, make sure to check your spam folder because, you know, we've had some reports that some of our emails go to spam, which is really, really frustrating. But unfortunately, yes. you know, we can't really. I mean, that. it happens, right? So, so it yeah. will walk them through everything they have to do to get started. Yeah. And like those emails, actually, they'll keep coming. I think, it, it, I think it's like once a week, mm -hmm. it sends out and it talks about kind of a new topic to help introduce you to the software. Mm -hmm. Um, so like one of the things that we're working on right now, um, to try and help make that more accessible is having some sort of like a help feature built in. Yeah. Um, cause like our YouTube videos, we, we get a lot of positive feedback about that. Yeah, you know, there's like tons of videos and if you're a visual person, it's great. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, 
but it might be you know intimidating sometimes for some people yeah. um just to try and put it all together and so we want to have yeah. like um a place where you can go to and just kind of step by step read through okay here's here's what i need mm -hmm. to do but yeah i like the idea of like more of a bite size mm -hmm. so that they because i think that's what they're having um like one person who is a follower is judy who yeah. has signed up and she just i think it was too much information for her to get started and right. so i'm gonna like help her but i i, I also encourage her to like go to the facebook mm -hmm. group which we'll put mm -hmm. all that link below too because yes. that you know having other people that you can talk to Mm -hmm. It's so important, I think. And mm -hmm. like, just get information from them. Yeah. yeah. And like, also just, this is kind of a side thing for, you know, anyone listening, but if you do post on the you know Facebook user group, that's helpful for us to see like, where are the sticking points? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because remember, like we're building this from the ground up. And mm -hmm. so like everything that gets done, you know, we have to, we have to do it. <laughs> um, and so seeing like, all right, this is, this is a struggle for people that, that keys us in on, we need to work on this. Yeah, 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 exactly. And if I could just go off of that, um, so customer feedback is really, really important to us. You know, guys, like I'm, I'm a reseller, but what we've learned, especially with growing this business, is that there are so many different types of resellers and people do yeah. things in different ways. And so, you know, it's been hard, like that part has been a little bit challenging, you know, to figure out, okay, what are the most important things to put into the software and stuff? At the same time though, um, you know, like we, like we, we love people's feedback and we want it because I'm, I'm just one, you know, I'm just one of us resellers and there are tons of us out there. And so yeah. you know, we, um, I, I think it's about 95% of our development is based off of customer feedback. Um, so yeah, we, we really value that. Um, it's really important. And then one other thing I'd say just to anybody who's feeling overwhelmed, um, I was there, <laughs> I was overwhelmed. Um, you know, like when I was first figuring out, okay, how do I account for a business? Because I think mm -hmm. like, that's not really how my brain is geared. I'm more of a creative relational kind of person. And so, yes. yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the side you know, that was Paul. And I'll just say, guys, like I, you are not alone. Um, this is a lot of us. And so my advice would just be take a deep breath and just take little steps at a time and don't put the pressure on yourself that you have to get it all figured out at once. Um, because that it, it's not going to happen. <laughs> like, yeah. honestly, because basically like you're having to learn an entirely new skill set, you know, like mm -hmm. learning not for your business, like that's a new skill set. So, you know, give yourself some space. Um, and, you know, Angie, thanks for even just letting us know that, you know, that some people are feeling overwhelmed because we want to know that we want to just work to make things easier and more straightforward. And yeah. the great thing about, and I'm like talking about your product more than you, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, but the great thing about it is once you get your numbers in there and it, you know, at first it's like you're pulling a lot of the information in, but then it's just you're plugging in your receipts and you're plugging in little things, but it's pulling all of the information for you from your sales, mm -hmm. from your checking account, and you're just like updating it. Um, so really that initial push through to get it set up is the absolutely most challenging thing because after yeah. that, it just makes it so smooth and it makes it you know, so that you, it starts remembering the things that you do and where receipts go and where your expenses go. It's, you know, don't let it get, get you discouraged at the beginning because it will automate everything for you. Just if you get through those baby steps at the beginning, it really, yeah. I'm more telling Kristen this because Kristen's looking terrified. <laughs> yes, I mean, because you, I think Faith, you and I have talked about this because you put out an Instagram that was like, hey, if you use a, a spreadsheet, this is just, <laughs> you know, so much easier. And I'm like, you're like talking to me. I feel attacked yes. right now because I've been using the same spreadsheet since mm -hmm. I don't think I started it when I started my eBay. I think I actually used a notebook. But I, at least in 2004, I've been using the same spreadsheet. Yeah. So, yeah. For, you know, and it's hard to teach old dogs new tricks, but, and I'm not saying that I'm an old dog. I'm just saying that I, <laughs> everybody will agree. Change is sometimes hard, but mm -hmm. if you know that it is in the best interest of your business, then yes. here I am talking myself into just, you know, be right back. I'm going to go get things loaded up. <laughs> <laughs> Cause I'm, I'm just, and I'm a procrastinator. So mm -hmm. yeah. 
now. Yeah, I think a lot of people are. So how did you, we, we know that you, how you got into the, the, the reselling, um, my, my reseller genie, but how did you start reselling? reselling. How did that happen? And, um, what, where did you start? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, so we were newly married. Um, and you know, th things were going great. I was a full-time nanny at the time. Um, and Paul's actually like, he is an entrepreneurial, um, background. And so he actually had started, um, another business. Um, and so I was nannying full-time. Um, however, I, um, and I won't go into too much detail about this, but, um, I have had like a lot of health issues, um, specifically chronic health issues with autoimmune disorders and things. Mm -hmm. Um, also I'm an open book about that. So if anybody wants to message me, I'm fine with talking about it, but I won't bore you guys with the details here. So, um, <laughs> but I was having a huge, you know, flare up if you will. Um, yeah. and we kind of realized after talking and after a lot of sick days and us just not being able to figure things out. Okay. Like you know, you're not really able to work full time. And that was one of the hardest decisions for me. Um, you know, it was just felt like a punch to the gut. Um, but uh, yeah, so I backed away from that. And then I guess it was about October or November. Um, I'm trying to remember what, what, when was the first year that we were married? 2017? Yeah. Yeah, 2017. Um, <laughs> people are going to remember these details? Yes. <laughs> you're asking him? <laughs> I don't remember these things. It's bad. <laughs> yeah, so it was October, November, um, and we were actually living um, in a friend's apartment, and they had just sold a couple of things on Poshmark. Um, and she was just so sweet. She was like, hey, you know, maybe you should just try this out. You know, it'll give you something to do. You know, I know you're feeling sick all the time. Um, it yeah. can be really fun. And I was really skeptical at first, but then I was like, all right, like, what can I lose? You know, I'll pull something out of my closet or whatever. Um, and I started, you know, Poshmark was my first um, platform since then, you know, now I'm on eBay and Mercari, Depop and stuff. Um, but yeah, I just quickly fell in love with it. It took me a while to make my first sale, but after okay. that I was sold. And I think I held off on going to Goodwill until the new year. So I waited a couple months. Oh. And as soon as I went to Goodwill, I was like, oh my gosh, like this is <laughs> Budget. You know, we were newly married, and so there wasn't a lot of extra money to shop and things like that. So right. I was like, I found a way to break the system. <laughs> I can go out and shop at Goodwill. Um, yeah, and just say it's for business. So yeah. it was for business. It was. Oh, yeah. it absolutely was. But I'm just saying, you know. <laughs> Put those air quotes down. Yeah, <laughs> for <laughs> business. That's right. <laughs> Give her credit because, like, she really did enjoy shopping and she had to scale yeah. back a lot, you know, just, mm -hmm. just like we did. We didn't have a lot of money, but yeah. she was able to say, like, hey, you know, I enjoy shopping. Mm -hmm. It doesn't even need to be for me. Yeah. And so yeah. she would go oh, shopping yeah. for her business. And that kind of turned, you know, this desire of hers that was going to, you know, take money away and it actually created money, mm -hmm. which is yeah. super cool. Yeah. Yeah, we get paid to shop. Yeah. Yeah. Treasure yeah. Hunt at all. <laughs> that treasure hunt is like the best thing. Mm -hmm. Always you never know what you're gonna find. So that's mm -hmm. that's half the fun of reselling yeah. completely. Yeah. The listing is the part that's no fun. <laughs> the listing part. And sometimes yeah. the bookkeeping part too, but it is uh comforting to know that there's tools out there to help us be better at doing that too. And um, we have a code. So if you want to um, sign up for my reseller genie, also you can use um, uh, the code for the podcast. There you go. <laughs> use code. The she was like, trying to give me uh, um, triggers. <laughs> what I'm putting down here, Angie. <laughs> the pod, all caps. The pod for the podcast. Yeah. So, um, Paul, tell us about the different levels about uh, of reseller genie what like what level would be good for like a beginner versus somebody who is like a big reseller like me sure so we have three different levels we've got basic premium and ultimate they're all really um i think really well priced mm -hmm. um so basic is 9.99 a month premiums 14.99 a month and ultimate is 19.99 a month right so um, I would say that for most, well, for, okay. So for resellers who don't sell on eBay a lot, mm -hmm. um, I would say probably for most people, the premium plan is the best plan to go with. Mm -hmm. Um, 
the reason so I say that is because it, right. Exactly. Yeah. 1499 a month. Um, and the reason I say that is because it includes everything you need to track for your business. Mm -hmm. Um, the, the difference, so there's two differences between premium and basic. So one is sales analytics with basic. You don't get the access to the analytics that we've talked about. Mm -hmm. Um, but you also don't get, uh, the expense detail where you can, you know, track, you know, all your other business expenses. Um, I, I guess there's another feature. You don't get the bank integration, which mm -hmm. kind of follows from, you know, the expense mm -hmm. detail. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So basic is really just geared towards people who want an easy way to track their inventory and sales using the accrual method. It's yep. not meant to be like a complete accounting solution. It's just like, Hey, we recognize this is a hard part of accounting as a reseller. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, so yes. we'll provide this service for about 10 bucks a month and you can track your expenses elsewhere. Mm -hmm. um, but if you want everything in one place, premium is kind of where you're going to want to start. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, but if you, if you sell a lot on eBay, I really think ultimate is the way to go yep. because that gives you access to our daily eBay integration where it will pull in your sales and your fees and your new listings. Um, and it'll save you a lot of time. Mm -hmm. So there's, there's also a feature that I don't know if everyone knows about on ultimate, but, um, if so, like for all your other platforms, mm -hmm. If you do use the accrual inventory method, um, there's actually a bulk uploader where you can upload sales from your other platforms and match it to inventory, um, which if you don't track inventory, it's like whatever. But if you do track inventory, it's like, this is amazing. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, so that's what Ultimate has to has to offer. It's a really, really big value add for the eBay sellers for sure. Yeah. Um, and we've gotten just a lot of good feedback about that. We're actually going to be releasing probably tomorrow a pretty big update for the eBay integration. Mm -hmm. It's going to make things even easier. So. Yeah. So we're, we're going to be solving, solving a number of, you know, problems that we've, you know, just heard feedback about and, you know, try to make people's lives easier. Yeah. Uh, so probably after this, after this podcast, I'll be filming the training video for it. Really so what, what, what kind of updates does it give us? Yeah. So you guys are the first to know. Yeah, so first to know. Yay, <laughs> I love it. <laughs> All right. So in terms of sales right now, the way that the integration works is that it like pulls, you know, all your new data and then it holds on to it and waits for you to approve it before adding it into my reseller G. Mm -hmm. Yes. So what we're going to do is we're going to change that. So sales get brought sales fees get brought in automatically. Um, nice. And also returns will get brought in automatically. So that was like a piece of data that previously wasn't uh, from the daily integration. Now it is. Nice. Um, so that's yeah. really exciting. Mm -hmm. uh, the sales will then, so like they're going to have an unreviewed status. And so if you're cash and cash method or cash inventory method and you don't track inventory, then you can just say reviewed and you're done with it. Um, Instead of doing each one individually. Mm. Yeah. Okay, and that's that's good. Yeah, it's yeah, it's it's, it's like a really nice. big deal. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> it's kind of a really big yeah. deal. <laughs> well, that's a big time saver because I don't do the inventory, so each one mm -hmm. I was having click, 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 click. You have to do, but now yeah. you won't have to. So that's awesome. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then for oh yeah, so for the people who do track inventory, uh, you'll be able to take all those sales and you'll you know get sent through the, the auto matcher. So it'll try and match the items up. If you know something doesn't match up, you can either manually select it or add the inventory details then. Mm -hmm. But bottom line, it's going to make things easier for the cash people. And the experience will be More just, just seamless. as seamless, yeah. just as seamless for the accrual people. Mm -hmm. So that's really exciting. Um, another thing that benefits the accrual people is with our inventory. Um, we're going to have, two so two updates so one is a decker because one of the issues that we run into is if you end a listing and do sell similar it creates a brand new listing mm -hmm. and so genie grabs that and is like all right a new listing here you go <laughs> and then for most people it's like 
wait a second, this is already in Genie. And so, you know, it can be a pain, especially if you don't stay on top of it to remove, to yeah, remove those yeah. from your, from your inventory import. Um, but what this is going to do is it's going to look at your inventory and it's going to see like, all right, is there, you know, like a title match in there for this? Uh, and okay, here's what we're trying to import. Here's the number of items already in your inventory with this title. Mm -hmm. Here's, you know, do you want to add them or do you want to delete them? Mm -hmm. um, and then once you go through that screen, instead of adding details to the inventory one item at a time, you can add them all on one screen. So it's going to save a lot of it's, time. Yeah, it'll save a lot of time. Yeah. It'll, make, it'll make the process a lot smoother for, for everyone. Um, I know that everybody is all about making sure that we're saving time too. So that's a good thing. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Will we see you guys at um, the Boss Reseller Remix again this year? Yes. And also, what about FlipCon? You guys are going to FlipCon, right? Yay! You are? Yes. And Reseller oh. Rally. Are you guys going to Reseller Rally? Yes, we're going to both. <laughs> no, we're not, no, we're not Reseller Rally. We're going to FlipCon and, and um, Reseller Remix. Yeah, well, we will see both of those then. So. Good. Oh, we're so excited. Yeah, it's been awesome. super cool having you guys on with us. Oh my gosh. It yeah. helps, I think, to make things more like, hey, I know them. I, I want to, yeah. you know, hang out with them. So that's, yeah. we appreciate you hanging out with us so much. Absolutely. Um, Thank you guys for having us. Yeah. I hope that we get to see you guys whenever we come and see you at the um, at the events because that makes it so much more fun. Great, we'll get pictures and all that fun stuff. So, <laughs> yeah, good. Well, we will make sure that we put the links to everything in the description below, and if you guys have questions, you know, make sure that you're in that Facebook group and um, watch your emails. And I think that you have been the experiences that I've heard is that you're really good with a customer service and getting back to people and helping people out. So that's yeah. awesome. For Thank sure. You. Yeah. Cool. Thank you. Um, I do have one quick question, Kristen, if I may, although yeah. Angie just muted herself. Angie, <clears throat> I was expecting oh, yeah. to see a perm today. Oh. <laughs> Where is the perm? <laughs> she muted. I don't know if her... <laughs> Or at least a picture of, of the good old days because you said that you were to bring a picture. I was excited for that. <laughs> I'm going to post the pictures on our Facebook group. All right. I, I forgot to pull it out, but I do have pictures I'm going to put. See, let's use those air quotes again there, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> she oh forgot. Oh, my gosh. That's called out. Yeah. Yeah, this is like the hilarious. most important question I had for you guys. So I've been waiting this entire time. And I'm, I'm disappointed, Angie, but I will wait. No, for the we were going to do curlers today, but then we forgot we were doing it in the afternoon and we already yeah. did a, a live listing. And I'm like, we're not going to wear curlers to the live <laughs> listing. That's just too embarrassing. So, um, but it is. Good. Yes, I'm going to be looking pictures. forward to your perm picture too, because. <laughs> Yeah. Guys. Uh, thanks you guys, guys for hanging out with us absolutely we you know we just want to put a like like um kristen said a name to a face so people mm. know you know it's a great product if you do not have a good solution in place i highly recommend you at least give them a try try them out for one month and see if it's a solution that will work for you and make sure that you follow uh, all of the tutorials and things that they have mm -hmm. in place because that's so so essential and i'm sure people can reach out to you to you both if they have questions right yes. yeah, absolutely. absolutely awesome yeah. well guys yeah. thank you so much for being here and mm -hmm. can't wait to to meet you in person at flipcon this year can't wait yeah. Great. We're excited. Oh, All right, guys. Thank you so much. Bye. Have a good one. Yeah. Well, that was so great having Paul and Faith. I'm was, so glad we yes. I, I just wanted everybody to, to meet them and just know about yeah. their product. And you know, nowadays, like I said, it's not a good idea just to have a spreadsheet because you really need to know what you're selling. She's talking to me. I know. <laughs> I'm literally calling you out. Girl. I know you are. I know you are. So I hope you're following them on Instagram because the, the girl that you see on Instagram is her. That's so, right. I know that I think that's so cute. So anyway, it was great to hang out with them. Yes. But you know what? I think we need, I'm hungry. We need to talk about.
snack time. <laughs> snack time. <laughs> Uh, I, I love that little setup there. I That's think so cool cute. Too. Okay, so snack time. I had something set up. I had something prepared and I was like, oh, this is what I'm going to do. This is going to be great. I'm going to save that for next week because <laughs> I had um, I had boba tea today. And no, Wait, I, you made that boba tea? Yeah, I had my boba tea. I thought you went and bought the boba tea. No, I, so like the sweet, the, the tea that you have at home, the coffee that people are having at home, I'm doing boba at home. So you can get this at like Costco or Sam's. Oh, I know. So uh, not sponsored, but still super excited about it because it's really good. Here's what happened. Here's why I'm going to talk to you about this. <laughs> this is also a PSA. Whenever you make this, you put it in the microwave and it comes in these little plastic envelopes and you put it in the microwave. And it says um, you put it in 60 seconds in the microwave. Okay. Uh -oh. I would not go the full 60 seconds because what happens is, what ha happened was. <laughs> what happened? They blow up. Oh. Yeah. So that we were sucks. running around in between um, tapings today and I fixed myself a boba, put it in there. I'm getting my, my tea and stuff ready. I pushed the button for one minute and I, you really only need to put it in for like 50 seconds. Right. Because I hear this pow. <laughs> and the microwave was behind me and the little thing inside and here gang, I had just cleaned my microwave. Cause you know, they get kind of gross, right? I just cleaned my microwave like three days ago. So it, it was beautiful inside this thing. Pow went everywhere. And it's like this, <laughs> syrupy brown sugar mm. and then <laughs> the little bobas stick into the ceiling of the microwave <laughs> they were on the window and i'm like trying to wipe stuff <laughs> off i've got sticky all over me they're so good and i do um want to share it with everyone because it's yummy but be cautious be, be prepared <laughs> be prepared they will blow up in the microwave they will like take over everything and then you have to start all over and just do a new one but anyway wow. and that was snack time with Kristen snack time with Kristen brought to you today by no one <laughs> why are you so genie yeah no that's funny. Oh, my face is so red. Oh. Uh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> By no one. By nobody. <laughs> uh, anyway, that it, it, it was good, but the whole time that I'm cleaning the microwave, I was like, Ooh, yeah. no, that's, yeah. and nobody likes to clean the microwave. Oh, no, nobody it's, likes to clean the microwave. My mom gets, has a fit if we don't cover things in the yeah, microwave. Yes. Like, sometimes it still explodes around whatever you cover it with. <laughs> yeah, that's true. We used to have one of those plastic things that went over the top of whatever it is that you were microwaving. She used to have one of those too. She loved it, but I don't know where you find those anymore. I don't know where you find it in Florida. I don't, I, I don't know. I well, it's it probably it. for the bad plastic because now they have to be like BHP free or something like that. It was probably the bad plastic. It probably was, Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, probably. Yeah, I bet if you look on, um, I bet they have it on eBay for crying out loud. They're oh. on eBay all the time. I always think, you know, why don't but I just. There is a place you can find things to purchase from anywhere in the country. Right. From sellers if all around something. the world. Where could I go? <laughs> Where do people find things to buy secondhand? <laughs> yeah, you would think that we would know these things and have answers right? to it. Uh, you'll have one by tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> so right. speaking of online sales, do you have any good sales this week? I had actually a pretty good sale. Okay. I have two sales I want to talk about. Oh, okay. okay. One is I bought this really cool Kenneth Cole mm -hmm. suitcase. It's one of the hard cases with the four wheels or whatever. I bought it at that Amazon bin store. Okay. I thought, oh, okay. This sells for like a hundred dollars. Yay. Uh -huh. Including free shipping. Uh, so I sold it. I took a best offer of $90, which was just a 10% off sale. Mm -hmm. 
y'all. It was forty five dollars to ship it oh to my. Ohio because oh it was so gosh. oversized. Oh. So by the time I paid the eBay fees of with promoted, that's like twenty percent. So that was like eighteen dollars, and then I paid forty five dollars for shipping, and then I paid fourteen dollars to buy it. I made like eight dollars. Uh, that's a so, bummer. Yeah, that looks like it was a really good sale, but it really it was wasn't. a terrible sale. Uh. And then, okay, so my my unofficial best sale of the week was something my mom picked up at a um on a YouTube auction. She oh, it. it was a La Perla vintage nightgown. Oh. So oh. Perla, like it's a good brand. Okay. It was all white, new old stock. So as new a tags, old stock. And we sold it for $75 plus shipping. Wow. I think that's great. I, yeah. I love things like that. So was it made in USA? Union made the whole thing? Oh, yeah, yeah. It, yeah. It was, you know, still had the original tags on it. Really beautiful. And um, we listed it for like just over a hundred, something like that. And somebody offered me 75. I was like, yeah, we paid five bucks for that thing. Oh so, my gosh. I yeah, love finding stuff like that. And mom is getting better and better and better about sourcing. She's like, has a good eye now though. Yeah. Um, we talked last week about her getting the new iPhone. And yeah. Which better it is. Well, she left us a comment, mom, instead of telling me left a comment that said it is not better. It is I not that phone. So many issues. Just saying. <laughs> Pulling you out, Angie. Had it to do it publicly. Better. It is not. Um, but actually, she was having issues, but it ended up not, I will tell you, it ended up not being the phone. It was she has a brand new computer we got at Christmas. Uh -huh. And with the Microsoft update, it corrupted all her file explorer. Oh. So, um, I had to go through and there was like, you can try these nine fixes to fix it. I'm like, are you kidding me? So the other day I had done like four of the fixes. I'm like, I don't know what's wrong with this thing. But today earlier I did three more fixes, fixes. And after the third one, they all came back up. So hopefully she won't have nearly as many problems. The only problem that she's, yeah, the only problem she's keeps having is, she accidentally hits the swipey button. Mm. So instead of taking pictures, she keeps taking videos. Oh, yeah. So yeah. It's like, can't I lock it? I'm like, <laughs> no, I don't think so. <laughs> so, but mom, mom, like, left me a message that said, I hate that phone. <laughs> Sorry, mama. I love you. Sorry. Oh. I have, I have some really good sales that are, that are coming up and, and I'll have my what sold video. Oh, about I forgot those. to ask you your sale. Jeez. I'm so rude. Go <laughs> ahead. It's okay. I'm used to it. No, <laughs> no, I had, um, I had a real a couple of really good sales. They'll be on my video that comes out my what sold video. So I won't give away that the good, good ones, Okay. but I've been selling a lot of those rubber stamps. I mean, I know that's what I you said. Them. Yeah. So I had six or eight of them that, you know, were in, in people's, uh, so I sent offers, they were in people's carts. Yeah. And out of that, I had like three or four that sold a couple of them were at full price sales and they're, nice. you know, $25 or $28. Some of them, you know, wow. I know. That's I know. Really good for vintage -y stamps, vintage rubber stamps. Mm -hmm. And best of all, I mean, I'm going to call it free because they were mine and I used forever. them yeah. So, uh, yeah, forever ago. I mean, these things are as old as my eBay store because this is some of the first things that I put on eBay was rubber stamps, oh. burger baskets and stamping up rubber stamps. So oh my gosh, yeah, there's some history <laughs> with these things, but yeah, that, I mean, I just think that that's cool. That yeah, rubber stamps. I love that. Yeah. And they're still selling. Yeah, and several other people uh, I've noticed on different Instagram channels and stuff have been have been doing stuff like that. Have been selling a few things like that. Speaking of Instagram, did you hear about the news? No, you're going to tell me though. No more monetization for Instagram oh. or Facebook Reels. They yeah. took it away. 
over yeah. the weekend or like last week sometime. Yeah. There's a lot of people who are making quite a bit of money mm. with those reels and stuff. I never did. I was never offered the monetization because uh. Angie has an issue with consistency um, <laughs> or not being consistent with yeah. my videos. Um, but yeah, I know a lot of people like really were getting those bonuses and stuff. And yeah, no more. Yeah. Yeah. I, know, I don't know if they'll replace it with something else. I or... think that somebody said that they were replacing it with something else or that they were going to be doing something different, but I didn't pay attention to it because yeah. I'm, you know, I'm, I don't make a lot of reels. I need to get better at that. That's another one of those consistency things. Yeah. I focus on making sure that I try to get my, uh, my long form videos out, but I don't always do the, uh, the short forms, but also on Instagram, I want to make sure that we have a shout out um, uh, 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 tell everybody about how great some people are. So we're introducing a new segment this time um, that's called Lift Them Up and Shout Them Out. So this week we have... Uh-huh. Yeah. Big Drift Thrift. Big Drift Thrift, BDT. <laughs> so Allison, if you aren't following her on Instagram, you need to go and do that right now. We'll put the link in the description below because this lady has fire after fire after fire in her Instagram that she's showing me what it is that she's listing. And the bolos, the brands that she's picking up, the, the things that you're learning by watching her is amazing. She just has, this is where I learned about those white boots that I sold for $300. Yes. She's just and so she's in Alaska and she's got just access to different kinds of things that, that we can't, we that we can't, wouldn't be thinking I mean, about. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And it. you might be seeing these things in Florida. Somebody moves from Colorado to Florida and has to get rid of some of this stuff. You might see it all the time and not even know. So definitely make sure that you're checking her out. I met her in real life at Boss Reseller Remix and she's an outstanding individual, but she just has, she just has this great knack in this eye and she's such a good reseller. So I hope that you guys are following her, checking her out and learning from her because she's got amazing stuff on there to be, to share with you. Yeah. So. And Kristen introduced, you know, her content to me. So definitely we will put her information below, go check her out. And if you have somebody that you think we should spotlight, we're going to spotlight a woman in reselling every single week. So yeah. Give us your suggestions. We would love to add someone that you think is worthy to our list as well. Yeah, because I think that, I mean, that was part of why we wanted to do this whole thing to begin with is to make sure that we are calling people out that we think are awesome and yeah. and giving them a, a, a platform and to tell them that, you know, you're doing great and that we're all that we're, we're good girl resellers. We can do that. You don't have to have a YouTube channel or anything. We just want you to be like crushing it in business. Cause isn't that what we all want to do here? Yeah. We, we want to have examples of like people that we aspire to want to be like, yes. so we're going to start off with her cause she's amazing. So, okay. We're going to show you one more time so you can see Allison. <laughs> love that little song Krista oh, made that in case you're wondering <laughs> <laughs> oh so Angie's like I'm not taking credit for this <laughs> oh it was cute oh. it was like a little catchy little song no we're in the back here mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah oh, oh yeah. did you see this week clickbait podcast I, okay yes tell me you more see who was on it yes KJ Chris Seller, Chris, oh, he's a new, he, another amazing reseller, but man, he knows his stuff when it comes to plush for sure. Wow. Oh, I know. Yeah. 
And if you ever seen if you ever seen his place, I mean, he is plush wall to wall in his in his house. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh! But I have to say, he is a, definitely a step up from last week's silent Kevin, who was there. <laughs> Your guest was silent Kevin. Maybe we need to get silent Kevin. Maybe that's who we need to have for a guest one of these days. Well, it's the only way we're going to get Kevin on this show. <laughs> Oh <laughs> just saying <laughs> he's already said the truth yeah oh my god um was pretty excited we uh what faith and paul said that FlipCon yeah. is coming up those tickets went on sale this week and it was pretty exciting to see all the speakers that they have um, yeah. the guest speakers and they're going to have some different things this year mm -hmm. in that they're going to have some breakout sessions and stuff so yeah. that's pretty cool I'm excited for some of that too, because I know that sometimes it fe you, you want to get a little more intimate and being able to ask questions and stuff like that. Yeah. I'm, I'm really looking forward to some of that kind of stuff. So yeah. oh, I can't wait. Did you get your tickets yet? I did not. I haven't either. I'm so no. bad. Why are we procrastinating this? I don't know. I'm terrible. I, I know. Uh, I hope everybody else is a, 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 no, I don't hope everybody else has got their tickets yet because I don't want to, I, we've already missed out on the other one. So the, what no. is it? The reseller rally. Mm -hmm. We've already missed out on that one. So Crazy. I we can't miss out on this one. We're going to, as soon as we get off here, Ange, let's go and get our okay. tickets. And I'll reschedule our room because Chris and I are rooming together. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we are. Yeah, we are. Yeah, we are. <laughs> and then um, we got to make sure that we, you know, coordinate our outfits and, um, you know. <laughs> oh, yes. We will. You know what, though? We're going to get Let's Do Lunch t-shirts. Oh, okay. Yes. I want to do that. We have a new logo coming. Mm. So when we get the new logo, we'll have, we'll run like a merch sale and everything so you can get a better price. Um, but we'll have to get some to yeah. wear there that'll be awesome yeah we put a, a request in for somebody that um is going to be doing a logo for us i'm pretty excited about it i can't wait to see what what comes of it because i've seen her other work and it's pretty adorable so. yeah so mm -hmm. we're pretty excited about that i mean you know it doesn't take much to get us excited we're like yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey i'm really glad that your internet like quasi <laughs> stayed together this time kind of yeah, not bad. You're good. Getting... Uh, okay. So I am, I think, going to try a different provider, even okay. though, I mean, we can only get so fast here because of the lines that we have. Okay. But I'm thinking that there's too many people on my network. Mm -hmm. So it's slowing it down. And maybe if I'm on a different network, like T Mobile just started having internet here, maybe. I mean, be I'm at the point now, Ange, where I think you need to be trying Mint Mobile um, or anything. <laughs> um, because, I mean, but I yeah. hate to, to do the switch and it's worse, you know? I mean, sure, but sometimes you got to do things out just to find out. Yeah. I mean, we try Depop just to find out if we're going to be terrible at it. And we are. We're going to be terrible <laughs> at it. Sometimes you just know. No, I have done Depop before and I didn't sell a single thing on it, but I only had like a couple listings, but I thought they were just going to sell right away because they were so cute and so cool and great pictures and eh. Yeah. I just, I don't know. Are we just too old to have the 20 year old vibe? I don't know. I don't think that that's it because I think that whenever you take the pictures, you can make the pictures be whatever you want them to be. That's true. Yeah. That's true. So, I, I we just don't have the right merch, I think, for, or or product for there or something. I just think I'm not trying. I mean, yeah. you know, we said Do the same really thing. We want to put a lot of effort into something that just. Yeah. I mean, look at Ray with whatnot. So, yeah. I mean, it happens. It could be, it could be great. And we just don't know because we aren't trying hard enough. Okay. Well, yeah. We can only try, who agrees with me? With reselling, there are so many opportunities mm. for you to try all these different things, but you kind of have to pick and choose your battles. Mm. Because you can't commit to everything and give everything yes. all of your 
all, all of your attention and do it well. Yeah. So I think it's almost better to focus on those couple things that, yes. what do they say? Three things you can concentrate on at once. So focus on those three things and do the, the best you can instead of worrying about all the others. Yeah. It would be a fun experiment though. Yeah. My problem is, is I have like 12 things on my list and I'm like, okay, this is the most important thing. Well, this is the most important thing. This is the most. <laughs> Uh, I You're mean, always putting out fires. Yeah. Yeah. I, mean, I, mean, I wonder why I don't get anything accomplished. <laughs> <laughs> we got to go back to that list. Uh, I know. Ourselves accountable and organized. You're right. I just I, need to focus. And I said, April, I'm doing better. <laughs> it's the fourth. <laughs> <laughs> I did oh. one, one short. <laughs> Baby steps. I Maybe. should have, this would be like the fourth, fourth one should be out today. And I've done one. See, and I'm like, oh, baby steps. What I'm doing is I'm enabling you. <laughs> Get it done, Angie. I'm tired of you making excuses. I'm tired of you talking about it. Get it done. Yes, ma'am. There you go. On that note, I think we better wind things up for this oh. week. <laughs> but I just, I am glad. I do really, I really do look forward to hanging out having lunch with all of uh, with all of the people in the chat and making sure that I'm having lunch with you too. So this has been good. I appreciate you. I'm grateful for you. I'm grateful for everybody in this community that's really like held us up and supported us and, you know, really shouted us out. Yeah. So big thanks for that. We will always save a seat for everybody that wants to pull up a seat with us. So Angie, what is that most important thing that I just told you? You just kind of said it, but you can sit with us. You can. We'll save you a seat. Bye. Have a great week, guys. <laughs>